State transportation authorities are confident that the remaining three spans of the I-5 bridge over the Skagit River are safe. That news comes after more detailed inspections today. Come for us, Jeff Burnside starts us off tonight with the latest video. Jeff? Well, it's been riveting watching them haul out big hunks of steel out of the river. And then over on the remaining span, investigators were looking at every bit of it, sometimes from just a few inches away. First, the vehicles came out, starting with that orange car, slowly, ever so carefully, above the raging river. Remember, this was the car on which driver Bryce Kenning sat, cold and dazed and patiently waiting for rescue. Now, it'll be part of the National Transportation Safety Board investigation, in case it can shed light on exactly how the bridge came down. And the truck, too, came out today, mangled, much like the rest of the bridge that crashed down around it. Piece by piece, it's the start of a very long process of clearing out all that steel and of finding out exactly how the bridge collapsed, as seen in this security camera video. Inspectors today were taking a very close look at that bent vertical strut right there, also likely hit by the truck, a key portion of the remaining part of the bridge. You can see the orange primer on the steel where it's been bent. But as engineers look at every inch of the entire remaining portions of the bridge, they are still certain it is safe. Any damaged parts, I'm sure, are going to be replaced. But you don't think at this point that it's going to threaten the entire structure? No, sir. And divers even used underwater video to give investigators more information and to help wrecking contractors know what's down there. Why not take the opportunity to go over everything? But Chesson says the focus for his eight-man crew today is on the rest of the bridge. We're not only looking for to look at the damage that was caused uh, by the collision, but we're also looking at everything that has to do with this bridge. Uh, kind of taking the opportunity while it's closed to look at anything that may need repair. And that could be as small as a pothole. So look, the issue here is the I-5 bridge collapsed. Does it mean the rest of the bridge is safe? Now with these added inspections today, their answer is yes. They're saying with added confidence they expect to have a new span, a temporary one in place by mid-June, and then the permanent span in September. By the way, Fed's paying for about 90% of those costs. At the I-5 bridge collapse, Jeff Burnside, Como 4 News. Jeff, thank you. As holiday travelers make their way home, we're starting to see a traffic slowdown along the bridge collapse detours. People anxious to get home and others just avoiding the area are having a negative impact on the bottom line for many Skagit Valley businesses. Como 4's Michelle Esteban continues our Team 4 coverage with that part of the story. Michelle? Well, Molly, Memorial Day is typically a boom for this area, but not today. In fact, I can tell you, we've all done a really good job of listening by avoiding this area, but now we are all being invited to come back. Skagit Valley wants you to know it is open for business. I've lost half of my revenue right now. And that's coming from a woman who sells chocolate for a living. We don't charge any extra. Angela Walden, co-owner of Rocky Mountain Chocolate Factory at the Burlington Outlet Mall, says when the Skagit Bridge collapsed, so did her sales. What should be her third busiest holiday weekend of the year is a bust. Revenue is down by 50%, and so are employee hours. I can't pay them to be here, so their hours are cut. So that, that's my biggest concern is my employees. A surprise visit Sunday from the governor gave business a boost, but more than that, she hopes others will follow Inslee's lead. First, Skagit County is open for business. In Mount Vernon, the kitchen at the Calico Cupboard Cafe and Bakery should be crazed. It's not. Instead of the usual holiday waiting list, there are empty tables. Business is down by 25% today. Did I mention the Skagit Valley is open for business? The manager at Calico and dealers at Conway's Antique Store thinks traffic is keeping customers away. When it backs up, people get afraid to turn into town because they're afraid they won't be able to get back on. DOT reports an uptick in traffic as Memorial Day travelers head home. Sherry Henry says they've lost Canadian business, but... I think we'll be fine. She says the trade-off was worth it. We can have all the patients in the world because nobody died. That's the most important. With the promise of a temporary bridge opening in mid-June, she also knows the state is on business's side. Well, there's no more important issue right now to the economy of the state of Washington, frankly, than getting this bridge up and running. 
Back now live. Now, up until today, the DTARs have actually really moved along pretty well, and we're hoping that it's backing up today because it's a holiday and it's a travel day. Everybody's just so anxious to get home. Right now, the DOT is warning give yourself about an hour if you're trying to get through the detours around this mangled mess. Reporting live, I'm Michelle Esteban, Como 4 News. Michelle